Hey guys, Funkster here with my beautiful wife, Angela. <laughs> and today we are gonna take you through a limitless lower body dumbbell shred workout. If you guys remember the upper body workout we did that had three different styles, unilateral, we had regular, and we also had combo. You know what goes well with dumbbells and getting shredded? Lean Pro 30, guys, that's right. I wanna hook you up, I'm serious, with a free seven day supply of my grass-fed whey protein. This is the highest quality protein, guys. This is the best, it's great, it tastes great. Lactose-free, stevia sweetened, gluten-free, non-GMO, soy-free, and I wanna give this to you. So click the link anywhere on this page, I'll send it to you absolutely free. You just play shipping and handling. Let's get to this workout right now. All right, so like I said before, this is a combination uh, of different styles of workouts, but we're hitting the lower body this time. We have 15 exercises each, Exercise, we're gonna do twice, 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest. The first set are gonna be unilateral movements. The second set are going to be regular exercise and the third set are gonna be combo movements, all right? Are you ready, honey? Now, I've got an injured knee, so I'll be in and out of this workout, but I'll be coaching you guys through the whole way. I'm all in. All in, baby. Are you all in? Okay, let's go. Single arm suitcase squat. Make sure you've warmed up before and make sure that you take a look at the exercises. We're gonna start off with a suitcase squat in the left hand and right hand, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, one arm. So I'm not gonna go as deep. You definitely don't wanna be looking at me here. But, you know, um, basically on this, you wanna squat as low as you can. Keep that body nice and tall. Squeeze the glutes at the top, heels on the ground. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. This is where you can go pretty heavy on this, but you've got to really focus on the core and the obliques, right? Keep everything stable. Oh, that right leg. Keep those knees pointed out, right? Ooh, as soon as I did that, my knee just said, what? Keep going. Heels, good work. Opposite side, so this is a great oblique blaster really um, you think it's a quads too but the obliques have to come into play so try to go heavy if you can on these because the heavier the movement the more your body's gonna have to stay stable right but make sure you're safe too if you have if you don't even know how to do squats then you're definitely not gonna go too heavy and this is gonna feel weird because of course we are using unilateral so one side of the body is gonna be trying to push you over all while squatting. Heels on the ground. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. That core is gonna be braced. Yeah. Really. And again, try to go as low as you can. If you got knee issues, just go as low as you can. But keep those knees pointed out. That is the key here. Heels on the ground, knees pointed out. Your heels wanna come off the ground because we're doing uh, uh, a dumbbell squat. Okay, single leg suitcase lunge. So grab two dumbbells. Oh, sorry, uh, single static. leg static lunge, yeah. So two dumbbells here. Okay. Remember, we only have 20 seconds, so we're moving quickly. All right, I'm scared. Left leg front, Okay. left leg forward. And we're just body forward. tall. Oh, and again, body nice and tall, shoulders back. The back leg is definitely gonna feel it <laughs> already. The back quad. Your back? Back quad. Really? Yeah, my back quad is feeling this. Oh, my front glutes. So there you go. Different, different parts of your body are gonna feel this. Oh. Because there's a lot of stabilization going on. That's right, that's right. And you get that stretch in the back quad. Oh my god, my glutes. <sighs> 40 <sighs> seconds, I forget. Time. All right. So I picked up 20s there. Oof. Maybe shouldn't have done that. So now we're gonna go opposite leg. Recover. And again, you gotta be stable here because it's a unilateral training. One side. So yeah, I felt that in my back quad. That wow. also could be because of my knees. Yeah. Are, 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 are Got some compensation so, yeah. going on, yeah. So other parts of my body have to come compensate. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Probably go very, gingerly on this one. But as you can see, Angela, keeping that knee pointed forward, that front toe pointed forward, body tall, or at least back straight. Everything's gotta be stable. 
Focus on everything. Core stable. Oof. You don't have to step back too far. Just get that slight lunge. Okay, staggered RDL. Staggered Romanian deadlift. What are you gonna use, honey? You get whatever you need. Okay, I'm gonna go 15s. You gonna go light? I'm gonna go heavy. Wow. Yeah, you can go heavy on these as well. And again, with only 20 seconds rest, you gotta move quickly through these. So staggered position. Come down. So you're down. So back leg on your toes, slight bend in the front knee, oh my hip hinge, hip hinge first and then pull up. Hinge at the hip, back up. Oh man, just a staggered portion of it, just a slight stagger makes a massive difference. But this is a hip hinge movement too. It's like a Romanian deadlift. You have 20 oh. seconds. Just slow your heart rate down. Yeah. Focus on the next movement. Recover. And uh, here we go. There we go. So slight bend in that front knee. Oh, this is gonna be tight here. Oh, okay, not too bad. <sighs> Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Remember, hip hinge first. Hinge at the hips first, which means let your butt go back first. Keep that back straight. Do not bend over. Just drop that dumbbell and, pull it up. and pull up. Squeeze at the top. So your hammies should feel it as well. Glutes, depending on how heavy you go. This is the one you want to go heavy with. Then you'll feel it. But make sure that front leg's slightly bent. Slightly bent. Okay, we're gonna get in the bum on our glutes, and we're gonna hit the glute bridge. Single, so keep the dumbbell on your stomach. One leg's gonna be pointed up. Let's point the left leg up first. Okay. <laughs> Just because that's my bad leg, so. And then, glute bridge. So down, press up, push up on, on those heels, and just focus on those glutes. Try to turn on those glutes. At the top, squeeze for a second at the top. And when Don't. you come down, get that lower back on the floor. Just to reset, but really and truly, you may feel the hamstrings as well. But don't just go through the motions with this Squeeze. one. Squeeze. And go heavy again. This is another exercise you can go heavy with. Because again, we're trying to build strong glutes, the strongest muscle. And most men don't focus on glutes. And if we sit too much, our glutes are turned 100%. off most of the time. And most women don't focus on glutes per se. Yeah. For the functionality, right. they focus on booty for the look. Right. We want functionality here. The, once you focus on functionality, believe me, the, the booty will, will be there. It will come. It'll be there, same thing. Nice and heavy, but focus. Focus on turning on that left glute, the one that's on the ground. Squeeze. Keep that leg up. Squeeze. Squeeze the top. Now, you may be like, Funk, I can't really feel it at the moment, that's okay. You've gotta to try to continue to get that mind-muscle oh connection. You can't. Well, some people won't be able to get that mind-muscle connection. You know how to do it. Okay, single leg calf raises. Ooh. So this one, we're going old school, baby. Yeah. You have to be able to balance. If you can't balance without the weight, then don't do this without, do this without the weight. Okay, so right foot back. Oh, jeez. Oh, you may not be able to go very high. I can't, I don't have a lot of good mobility. It balances your shoulders. Just a little, little bit. You can put your toe down just a little bit like this. And then, yes, for sure. But try to, because when you're up there, focus on keeping your head straight, forward, core tight. If you have to hang on to something, 
you can and just hold on to one dumbbell. But you should try to get this without hanging on to anything because we want, ooh, ooh, yeah, that leg. we want to balance. All right. So again, depending on your mobility and your ankle, some people will be able to go really high. Some people may not be able to go high. And because we have that other leg, it's putting weight down on our, on our foot already. Yeah. So there's already a load on our other leg. Get that core engaged. Right, there's already a load. And now we go, oh, geez. one, two, Oof. okay. And again, if this becomes too much of a, the more you do this, the better you're gonna get. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying all different ways to. Just keep that load. Keep that load on that one leg. Oof. Oof. Good, wow. Just up, up. Core. Up, oh. The, the, the calves are feeling this though. Oh man. The calves are feeling it. <laughs> Just because there's so much stability happening in that lower part of the leg. Right? Wow. All right. We're moving into goblet squats. So again, we're going to go back to heavy. You should be able to do all 40 seconds with a weight that is half of your weight. Ooh. That, that, she should be able to do that. Here we go. Goblet squat. Let's go. I got 40s. Well, at this point, I'm not doing that, but yeah. That's your goal. Good. Knees pointed out. Same thing. Heels on the ground. Drive through your heels. Body nice and tall. You're not bending over when you're doing these. You're not letting the dumbbell pull you over. Or else you're gonna hurt your lower back. Okay, good. Go from the heavier there. You want my 40? Yeah, sure. I'll grab the 50. Yeah. So once again, one of the goals for overall strength is to be able to goblet squat half your weight for 25 reps. Right, so that's something to work up to. I'm working on it. So. Non-stop. Here we go. Heels on the ground. Try to go as deep as you can. Knees pointed out. Good. Nice and low if you can. Wow. Knees are starting to say, hey. Remember, we're injured. Good. Load up that. Diaphragm. All right. Is that two times? Yep. Okay, reverse, alternating reverse lunge. I'm out of breath. Definitely should be out of breath. You should be out of breath. Rest. You gotta keep that core tight. So you should be out of breath there. Very metabolic movement. All right. Alternate reverse lunge. Here we go. So just step back lunge. Step back, push off with that front leg and that back leg. And just alternate. Body tall. Good. Try to keep that knee, not try to, keep that knee pointed out. Do not let it cave in. Good. Good. Keep going. Heels on the ground. Front heel on the ground. The entire movement. Good. 20 seconds rest. How are you feeling, honey? I went a little light because I was still recovering from that goblet spot. I know, sometimes, eh? So I'm going to go a little heavier. Out of breath, man. Yep. This is one of those sneaky. It's that 20 second rest. Sneaky workouts <sighs> where when you go heavy, you're putting a lot of workload on yourself, work capacity, and not enough time to recover. Makes this metabolic. That's why we're burning calories during and after. Don't come back to me with, hey, Funk, only burn 200 calories, 200 calories <sighs> in the workout. 
There'll be more. There's always more to come. Step back, push off. Oh. Front leg, use it. Yeah, definitely. Use it. Do not drag that back leg either. Keep that body tall. I was almost uh, rotating there. Okay. okay, dumbbell, deadlift. Ah. I love this exercise. I may have to coach you with this. Okay. I may have to. We'll see. My knee is not... Uh, that 30 second rep, I mean... 20 seconds. That's it. All right, here we go. 20 second rep. Same thing. Hip hinge at the bottom first. Hip hinge first. Pull up. If you've only done this with a dumbbell, yeah. I mean a barbell, just pretend. That's a barbell. Keep that back straight. And hip hinge first, it's not a squat. The squat you're bending at the knees first, the deadlift you're hip hinging first, and then bend at the knees. Hey man. So, hey. there's a difference there. This is hard. It's very hard, very hard. Recover. Remember, hip hinge means pointing your butt back first, then bend the knees, which is different from just bending at the knees. Oh, here we go. Great tip. Yeah. Fill up that diaphragm with air. Ah. To protect that lower back. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Man, that one hurt. Single leg deadlifts. That's all these. Hey, man. What did I just tell you? Not single leg. We can just go stiff legged deadlifts. Sorry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Let's go stiff legged. I was just going to say that this is hard. Yeah, stiff legged. Okay. Up. Stick leg legged deadlifts. They look like okay. this. So here, a little bit different now. We're not, we're not hinging at the hips first. We're kind of bending the knees first. Cause this is more of a hamstring exercise. So just a slight difference. There's not much of a difference between RDL and SDL, but. A lot less bend in the, yeah. in the knee. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. So. Your knees are only slightly bent. They're yeah. just not locked back. Oof. Nice and slow. You can go as long, as deep as you can go without rounding your back. That's why it's so important that you warm up before these workouts, you stretch after, and you do some mobility training in between because you want to keep your body safe from injuries, from lower back. Open up with some mobility work. Turn on your glutes. Some hip flexibility stuff, very important to make sure that's part of your weekly programming. Back still straight. And I want you to bring those dumbbells right to your, yeah, right to your, right to your, what are these things called? Ankles? No. Shins, knees? Laces. Laces. There it is. Right to the laces. Ooh, stretch. Oh man, my back just said no. All right. Those are so good. Meet the queens. Okay. Alternating. Meet the queens. Remember, we only had 20 seconds. Unfortunately, he has to talk the whole time, but if we don't recover. Let's go goblet, meet the queens. How's that? Okay. Goblet, meet the queens, make it a little bit easier. Curtsy lunge, I'm gonna coach you through this one. Yep. So, okay. Side to side. Nice, so here, Angelo's got this. Step back, keep that knee bent in the front and in the back. So step back and then a slight lunge, right? So we're hitting the glutes here. The body's gotta stay tall. 
to keep the core tight, to keep that dumbbell straight. So you have some interior, um, uh, you're focusing on the interior here as well. Pushing off with that back leg. As you can see, Angela's moving nicely from side to side, which is nice. This is a movement that's kind of difficult for a lot of people because we're not used to moving like this. Remember, this is, what we're, this is what we're doing. Meet the queen. Curtsy, meet the queen. Curtsy exactly. lunge. Exactly. That's what you're doing. You're curtsying. So go back to your old ballet days, your old dance days. And uh, for men, learn how to curtsy to your queen. Here we go. Raise the core. Core tight. And another exercise you can go heavy with. If you're mastered the goblet, the, squat. The go, the goblet squat and actually this movement, because that glute, you're gonna feel this in the glutes. Your glutes are looking great, honey. That wow. front leg. Your butt's looking really good. Really? <laughs> Very good. Up. Very good. Good job. Keep that core tight and the body tall. Good. Push off with that front leg. Toes pointed forward. Good work, guys. Good work. Good work, honey. Great work. Okay, now we're moving into the combination movements. <laughs> okay. We're not so, done? No, we're not, unfortunately. Clean to squat now. Clean to squat. Got it. Clean to rack squat. You want to go lighter here? There's some 15s, 20s here. Okay. All right. I got 20, 25s here. Let me start this off for you guys. Clean. Rack squat. So clean up. Squat. Clean up. Squat. Good. So just clean. Rack. Squat. Clean. So hip hinge. So we go hip hinge. Core tight. Squat down. Up. Again. A good. You got a brace at the top. Yeah. Brace. Remember, we're using that hinge to get the dumbbells up. Good work, guys. Good work. Oh, man. It sucks to you that we've already shot a workout this tonight. <laughs> Not. It's a toughie. Fun. It's a toughie. All right. Make sure you recover. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth, get that oxygen in. I got it, honey. That's good. Let's go. Here we go. Clean. Race. Oh, yeah, let me just coach you through. Squat. Clean, brace, squat, good. Good clean, squat, nice. And just taking her time here. Clean, brace, core tight, elbows pointed close to the body here too. And then squat, heels in the ground, knees pointed out. Meaning, do not let those knees buckle. Good work. Good work. Great job, walking lunges. So I'm going to make some room here. Do you want 20s, do you want 15s? Yeah. 20s, okay, there we right go. I got here. it, I got it. So just walking side to side. These ones are brutal. These are, these are walking, right? Yeah, walking lunges, yeah. Okay. These ones are brutal. Nice and tall. Yeah. Good, okay, good. Middle three. So it's great here that Angela's going from walk to walk, right? It's not stopping in the middle, making this a little bit more difficult. If you don't have that balance, then definitely stop in the middle. But yeah, for I can Angela, show you that. yeah. You need to stop. Yeah. And alternate legs. Yeah. But for now, for all you guys, shoulders back, holding that dumbbell and then just all the way straight into a Good, good work, good work. So, shoulders back. And remember, you're not holding the dumbbells up. Hanging. You're just letting, letting them hang. Core has to be tight, but you're walking, right? So, this is a walking movement. It's a lunging movement. It's one of our pillar movements that we all need to be able to do. Squat, lunge, push, press, hip hinge. And, of course, carry, which is what Angela's doing here. She's carrying with a lunge. So we've got the core again. Nice work. Good. And the better you get at this movement, you want to go heavier with the weight. That's always your default. Add load with, with perfect form. 
I don't want you to try to go fa uh, faster with this. I'd rather you add load with this. Keep those shoulders back. Focus on that front leg, driving you up. Up. Yeah. Up. Good. Up. Nice. Good work, good work. Um, next up is unilateral static lunge. So one, two, to RDL. One, two, so we've done a little bit of both in the first half staggered RDL. So I'm gonna start us off with a unilateral static lunge. So just, you can put your left foot back if you want. Put your left foot back. Two lunges, one, two, staggered RDL. So combo movement again, and then back. Remember that hip hinge. Yeah. Hips go Sad. back first. Yep. Squeeze the glutes at the top too. One, two. So the RDL is gonna be a little slower. And that step back to a lunge. Back to an RDL. Oh. So we've already done both earlier on. Oh, a little lightheaded here. <laughs> All right, so next time we do this, we go right leg back. How you guys doing there? We're almost done. Right leg back, static lunge. Oh, I can't even do this. Can't even do it. Nice and tall, shoulders back, chest out. One, two, two. Time to step forward. Yeah. Hip hinge. Is that Back the straight? Is this a different leg, right, honey? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So back into that lunge. Good. So I'm just using like, as soon as she's done the RDL, automatically into that lunge. Good. So hip hinging here. Good work, honey. Great work. Butt looks kind of butt looks really good. I keep yeah. Huh? The workouts are doing you from wonders. The butt looks great. Oh, yeah. Okay, side lunge to close squat. So I'm gonna move right away. Goblet, you want the twenty, sir? Yeah. Here go. I'm gonna grab this twenty. We're gonna go side lunge, side to side lunge to squat. Brace your core. Side lunge and then close squat now. Good, and then alternating. Other side, good. And then close squat, excellent. So keep those knees together. Side lunge. So again, keeping your body slight. The side lunge, you're gonna bend over a bit. That's just, yeah. part, that's just how it works. You're gonna bend over, but try to keep your back straight in neutral position when you're bending over. Good, awesome. Right, don't bend too far over. Just bend over as far as you can. That's great work, honey. So now we're hitting the adductors, we're hitting the abductors, we're in the glutes, <laughs> we're in the quads, right? We're getting some Core. movement, side to side movement. Yeah. Core, keeping the, the, the goblet, keeping the dumbbell up is embracing our core. So making sure that we don't fall forward, right? Here we go. All right, so side to side. Last time. Here we go. Good work. Pushing off with that leg, that's stepping out. So leg Squeeze. stepping out, push off, push off. Boom, good, and don't drag the feet. That's the key, do not drag that feet. Now with the close squat, you can go nice and low, nice and deep. Good work, nice. What? Ask the grass for that one for sure. As you can see, Angela's ass goes all the way down. Boom, so really. If you can't, that's okay. Yeah, if you can, it's okay. Get to parallel. Yeah. Good job, good job, all right. Last exercise, uh, you're gonna need two dumbbells that are not too heavy, yep. not too big, because we're gonna do uh, close skier swings to dumbbell swings. So dumbbell swings are a little bit different because they're going through your legs and not like a regular swing. So your legs have to be, um, your legs have to be tight, okay, great. Let's go, so, skier swings. Skier swings, boom. Skier swings, two skier swings, two, good. Two dumbbell swings, good. So now power, explosiveness. And you're not gonna be able to go as deep as you can, like with 
kettlebell swings, but you still have that hinge, you still focus on the hips, and you have an explosive movement. Good. Now when Angela does the skier swings, it's more quad focused. The regular swings is more posterior focused. Glutes, hips, great job. Great power behind that, great power. So you really wanna power that up. You're not using your arms to get those dumbbells up. The arms are there as a fulcrum. They're just there to hang on to the dumbbells, but Angela's using her, her hips and her quads, right? Ski, skier swings, quads, um, uh, regular swings, glutes. Okay guys, here we go. Glutes, one. One. Good. Two. Good. So again, nice. So hips, quads, hips, hips, good. And the arms are just there. Remember, the arms aren't coming all the way up. So you gotta go heavier with this. You can't do this with like 10 pounds. But you wanna be able to do this movement first. Good, watch your knees. Explode, explode, nice. Great job, honey. Great job. Great work. Great job, everybody. You guys are awesome. Great job, honey. Awesome, give us some knucks. Good job, lower body, limitless. Amazing workout, very tough. Angela's out, you're still in, thank God. You guys, make sure that you grab that Lean Pro, click the link anywhere on here, because after a workout like this, it's perfect to get a Lean Pro protein, BCAAs mixed together and some water to start the recovery process so you can build muscle, which is what we just did here. You guys are awesome. Like, share, comment below. Let me know how you like this and make sure you stretch after this workout because if you don't, you're gonna be sore, you're gonna be tight and you're gonna uh, end up injured. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. We'll see you in that next workout. Get it done. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here, and thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it, and I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that, those comments, and if you like that workout, click that button right there, and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster, and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.